Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, November 20th, 2016. And in this video we're looking at the mysterious sphere spotted in NASA's sun images. As seen on the RT.com uh, website, as we can see here in this article. A number of people have been asking about this. It's also been featured on the Daily Fail website. Sorry, I mean the Daily Mail website. And a lot of people are freaking out about what this object could possibly be. Is it a huge planet within our solar system? Or is there a perfectly good explanation for what we're seeing here? Well, first of all, let's go directly to the source. So here we are at the NASA Stereo Ahead website, and we've got this set to November 16th, 2016, 1609. Now this is the first image that appears with this mysterious object. So what could it be? Well, first of all, I'm just going to step this back in the reverse direction so that we can see what the view normally looks like. This is the normal view in the Stereo Ahead HI1 image. Now we're going to take a look in Starry Night to see if we can identify these two objects. So this is the view from the Stereo Ahead spacecraft simulated in Starry Night. And we can see that we're looking at the Earth and the star Aldebaran, which is in Taurus. Aldebaran. Uh, so this is the approximate field of view of the Stereo A HI1 camera and uh, we can see that the relative positions are the same there. So let's go back to the imagery and let's step it forward again and take a look at the images. There is this mysterious sphere that suddenly appears out of nowhere and we'll step through the images Now I'm going to stop it here because this is quite a good image to look at. This is on the 16th of November at 22.49. Okay, so on the right you can see that I've pulled up the Stereo Ahead EUVI 171 images. And this is on the 16th of November at 22.14. So this is just a little before 22.49 on the same date. And if we compare these two images, we can see some similarities. If you compare the features, like we've got this swirl out here with the bright base there, is the swirl here with the bright base. We've got this three-pronged shape here, which is this three-pronged shape here. So what we're actually seeing is this image from the EUVI-171 image is somehow superimposed on the HI-1 camera and rotated 90 degrees. But wait, there's more. Instead of just jumping to my own conclusions about this, I went straight to the source and I emailed NASA. If we scroll down underneath the stereo images, we can see at the bottom there are some contact details for the responsible NASA official, Joseph B. German. So I emailed Joseph German. Let's take a look at the emails. Dear Joseph German, Hi there, I'm an amateur astronomer from New Zealand, and in my spare time I debunk astronomy-related nonsense via my YouTube channel Dazzle the Cameraman and on Facebook, etc. Can you please explain what we're seeing in the Stereo Ahead HI1 images from November 16, 2016 at 1609 to November 17, 2016 at 1809? These images have been used by the fear mongers to suggest some sort of massive object that shouldn't be there, e.g. Nibiru Planet X. Daily Mail Daily Fail has posted this article and RT has posted this article. Is this the result of calibration or a spacecraft roll or is there another explanation? Also, are you able to direct me to a NASA source to check for any future such images? I am already familiar with the excellent artifacts page. May I quote your reply to me in one of my response videos. Thank you for your time. Kind regards, David Gregg, New Zealand. And here is Joseph German's reply to me. Hi, Mr. Gregg. Glad you found the artifacts page. If you follow the corrupted and blank images link, you'll see some not too dissimilar images. What happened this time was the Sechi Ahead Call 1 coronagraph exceeded a temperature limit set before launch. As happens with most long-lived spacecraft, and this next sentence is not too clear, 
The spacecraft and instrument spacecraft have been increasing slowly but steadily thanks to slowly degrading thermal insulation material on the sunward side of the spacecraft over the 10 year of mission life so far and no one had been minding the fact that we hadn't increased that limit over that time. The predefined response for the SETI telescopes exceeding a temperature limit is to shut down and SETI's own autonomy rules did so. That confused the bejesus out of the ground software that reformats the images, which expected to see a different sequence of images. So, in this case, an EUVI image, or a series of them, got reformatted as an HI image and rotated 90 degrees and perhaps flipped into the bargain, since HI images are read out from a different corner of the CCD camera than are the EUVI images. When the SETI team understood what had happened, they adjusted the onboard software. Temporarily, they're running without the thermal safety until they dig out, examine and convince themselves they've understood the documentation for the commands to adjust the high temperature limit for Core 1. Core 1 is back to taking observations, and presto, no more mysterious images. Some people appear to want to believe anything rather than simply asking. Thanks for asking. Best, Joe German. So there we have it people, and indeed all you have to do is ask. And this is why NASA provide the information so that people can contact them and ask them instead of spreading this fear-mongering nonsense around the internet. At the top of Joseph German's email reply to me, you'll remember that he said, Glad you found the artifacts page. If you follow the corrupted and blank images link, you'll see some not too dissimilar images. So let's hit the link and see where it takes us. So this is the artifacts page, and as we scroll down, we can see that there are some examples of corrupted images. I'll put a link in the description area so that you can check these out in further detail. So there we have it folks, sorry to disappoint all the fear mongers, liars and hoaxes, but there is no massive object out in front of the sun as seen from stereo ahead, it is simply just another image of the sun from the EUVI171 camera that has got mixed up with the stereo ahead HI1 images, as we can see from the surface detail. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex, You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.